Myself, government ministers and public service chief executives will take a 20% pay cut for the next six months. As we acknowledge New Zealanders who are reliant on wage subsidies, taking pay cuts and losing their jobs as a result of COVID-19's global pandemic. We feel acutely the struggle that many New Zealanders are facing and so too do the people that I work with on a daily basis. If there were ever a time to close the gap between groups of people across New Zealand in different positions, it is now. Of course, many people in our public sector are our frontline essential workers, nurses, police, healthcare professionals. We are not suggesting pay cuts here, and nor would New Zealanders find that appropriate. Rather, I am responsible for the executive branch, myself and ministers. This is where we can take action, and that is why we have. You'll be pleased to know um, that we do consider both the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny to be essential workers. Um, but as you can imagine at this time, of course, they're going to be um, potentially quite busy at home with, with, their, with their family as well and their own bunnies. And so um, I say to the children of New Zealand, if the Easter Bunny doesn't make it to your household, um, then uh, we have to understand that it's a bit difficult at the moment for the bunny to perhaps get everywhere. I know it hasn't been uh, it hasn't been normal for so many, um, but I hope you've still managed to bring in some of the traditions that your family might have, and if you are on your own, that you've been able to connect with family or or friends as well. I'll keep multitasking and reading your messages as they um, as they come up. Excuse the casual um, uh, attire. Um, it's a can be a messy business putting toddlers to bed, so I'm not in my work clothes. So forgive me for that. Please continue to look after yourselves out there. And my last word is that we are doing really well. We just need to keep going. It's so important. As the Minister of Sport said to me, we don't want to lose our halftime advantage um, by uh, changing tack or losing our strategy. We've just got to keep sticking with it. There is huge uncertainty out there right now, but one thing I'm certain of, we are a nation that has been shaped because of our experiences and they often have been tough, harsh and unpredictable. That is when New Zealanders are at their best. That is when we rally, when we look after one another, when we care for the most vulnerable. So, Mr Speaker, my final message is this to New Zealanders. Be strong, but be kind. We will be okay.